This is a perfect way to end any dinner. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is another cooking video where we are going to make some desserts that you can give to your valentines. It's almost time. Um, this is a quick, fun, easy, uh, inexpensive recipe that you can make and it's guaranteed to be a hit. For this recipe, all that you're going to need is a packet of Jello. Uh, just like before, I'm using the red Jello. It's already a strawberry flavor. Uh, you're going to need the required amount of hot water and cold water that are always in ratio 1 to 1. Uh, mine requires 225 hot, 225 cold. Um, and then you're also going to need some strawberries and unfortunately in my town the only strawberries that I can find at Super Spa was rot. Um, then I decided let's see if there's any blueberries and they were starting to rot as well. So I had to make an adjustment to my recipe. So I decided to get some canned strawberries which is in here. So I'm sure that they're going to do the part just as well. You are also going to need um, some fresh cream that we're going to whip up, uh, some sweetened condensed milk and rose water. And for those of you that don't know what rose water is, um, this is basically what gives a flavor in Turkish delight. So it's also a very lovely smell, it tastes nice and yeah, we're going to need this for this recipe as well. Okay, so we're going to move our water to the side. And in our mixing bowl, uh, you're going to pour your hot water. There we go, like I said, this is 225 milliliters. Then we're going to open our uh, jello. Okay, so we're going to add our jello to this. Go. And now you're just going to stir until all of this is completely dissolved. And once you see that your sugar is completely dissolved in there, there's no more granules left. You're going to take your cold water and you're just going to add it into your jello mixture like that. Give it a quick stir again. And then I'm just going to pour it back into my measuring jug like that. Now, here comes the fun part. For this piece of the recipe, I'm going to use an egg tray. And then I'm going to take my glasses that I want to use. And I'm just going to put them into the egg tray at an angle. Let me do it like that so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, my other glass at an angle and another glass at an angle uh, like that then you're just going to pour it in pour in your jello mixture don't pour in too much because you still want to add your stra strawberries and just you still have to add your cream on top so we're not going to pour in too much of this mixture like that um, then we're going to take our strawberries put them over here just move all of this up move up, move up move the strawberries closer, okay 
So we're just going to take our strawberries and then we're going to add it into the Jello mixture. Okay, so now all that we're going to do is I'm going to pop this into the fridge, into the freezer for about 30 minutes or so and then we're going to come back and we will make the cream that's going to go on top. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes time. To make our cream topping for our pudding, I just poured my cream into a stainless steel bowl. Again, I just like to do it because the cream tends to stay more chilled for longer. So we're just going to start to beat it a bit until it's nice and thick. Okay, and now that our cream is nice and thickly beaten, I'm just going to add a little bit of condensed milk into the cream. This is just to give it some sweetness. Just like that. and now we're going to add some rose water this is just to give it a nice fragrance and also to give it a nice taste like that and then I'm just gonna beat it some more and we'll be ready so here we go Now it's all mixed, we're just going to get our jello cups and then we can add this on top. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the cream onto this just to give it a nice finish. Um, I want to pipe it on because I think that will look even better. Just remember if you struggle to put cream into a piping bag or anything into a piping bag, just put it over a glass, pull it over like that and yeah. That's going to help. I actually don't think because my... Oh, it is a, quite a hot day today and I don't think that my cream is going to pipe. So we can try. But if it doesn't want to pipe, it's no problem. We can still put it onto our little puddings and it will still be nice. So there we go, we have our piping bag, we have our cream, now let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really really want to pipe all that nicely, which is fine. I think what I'm going to do just to make it easier is I'm going to spoon it into the cups, but this is the idea that we're going for. You have your jello over here and here you have your cream. It's a nice flavored cream, it's a sweet cream and we're just gonna put this back into the fridge just so that it stays nice and cold. So I'm gonna take this cream and we're gonna put it in here. Like that. And this one also.
and there we go. That is the puddings for Valentine's. We have our jello, we have our strawberries, there's our cream. I really think this looks so, so nice. Okay, so like they say, the proof is in the pudding. So let's taste our pudding and see how it went. Mmm, -hmm. yo, that's nice. Yo, that is so nice. The way that this jelly and the strawberry and the cream work together. Mmm. This is a perfect way to end any dinner. Guys, before I consume this whole glass of pudding, I just can't stop, it's so nice. <laughs> I'm gonna bid you guys a farewell. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like this recipe. Uh, if you're going to try it, please Send me photos, I will leave links to my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook down in the comments. Please remember to comment and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this pudding. Because I really think this is so nice. You would say, yeah, it's just jelly and cream and strawberries. But the combination and the way that the cream is sweetened with the rose water, it's so, so nice. So please let me know what you guys think. I look forward to hearing your comments, to reading your comments, and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.